Hey, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Got my coffee. <laughs> Little baby puppy banjo. Hope y'all are doing well. I've got good news. Yesterday, after me and my mom spent our day together, which was a great time for us. Um, we had a little talk, and it wasn't like putting me in a corner kind of talk or anything like that. That used to happen like last summer. Um, which of course I don't blame her about. I just always want to emphasize and re-emphasize that. Um, but I can use the car. I just, she said I can't make video while I'm driving. But I was like, okay, I'm not going to make video or be on my social media when I'm driving. Put my phone in the cup holder. I won't touch it until I get to my destination. Right on the CRV. LGW. Taking that bullnet out all the fucking way, I'll tell you what. But anyway. Um, which, oh, she said, um, and apparently I got two tickets, one for speeding, which my mom already paid the ticket. Oh my gosh, there's a school bus. Taking that pulling it all the fucking way. Let's see. It is... 752. Good luck. It's a really bad luck. Let's just say, North Side Independent School District. Don't you know they were doing Northeast yesterday during my run? Anyway, um, my mom. Oh, apparently, I got um two tickets. I got one for being on my phone in a school zone and the other one was for speeding, which my mom already paid the ticket. And if I would have looked, I guess if I would have looked at the ticket more closely, I would have seen, she said it was at the bottom. That I got a speeding ticket. I was like, I'm, I know it was a school zone. There was a lot of traffic or not a lot of traffic, but you know, there are cars to the front and right of me. I was in the left lane. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't speeding. It was an incline, school zone, you know. So if I would have saw that on the ticket, I would have contested it. We didn't discuss that until after she paid the ticket. And yeah, you had to plead like guilty and stuff when that happened. But anyway, I wish I would have known that. The officer didn't say anything to me about speeding. Um, I wonder if all officers have body cams and stuff like that, whether you're on a motorcycle or not. But, because um, I'm pretty sure I, I didn't film right when he got to the car. I think I started filming a little bit after that. But he never mentioned anything about, are you aware that you're speeding in the school zone? So, um, so I was unaware of the speeding ticket. I think um, being on your phone was like she said, like 140 or 150 dollars, and the speeding ticket was um, oh look, golf club, and the speeding ticket was uh, I guess another hundred or something like that. In a school zone. Like I said, they're stupid. I mean, like this isn't a guarded neighborhood. You think you can just walk around all like that? Who are you talking to? I know you're talking to me. Who else are you talking to? But, like I said, if you're like that, you're stupid. Okay, it makes me feel better about 
my life a little bit or at least my past mistakes because I mean people can make stupid mistakes and stuff like that but in order to have that your personality <laughs> you know you're really stupid anyway so basically my mom said I could drive the car phone's got to be in the cup holder or just put away whatever and um what else oh yeah I'm just gonna vote for Chip Roy congressperson Chip Roy he's in my district um And from the sample ballot I got, I don't even know how accurate that is. Accurate, precise, all that. Are you talking about statistics? But anyway, um, there's a lot of judges that happen to be Democrat and they're not. Um, they're running unopposed, so that means they're already automatically get the job. Um, and then there's some other judges, which it's Democrat, Republican. I'm not going to vote. You know, my, I wouldn't tell anybody what to do. But. My reasoning on that is, you know, you vote, you get your voice heard, but after 2020, I think everybody's automatically like, this is really scared. Um, Banjo, watch out. Rapist pull net neighbor. <laughs> and they've been doing this thing where like, I never had any problems with them. Don't you know it's the rapist pool net neighbor that usually gets home around this time? Anyway, it's all fucked up in this neighborhood. You think, oh, it's just somebody walking by? No, you're not. <laughs> you gonna quote a poem? Is that what you're gonna do? Anyway, Banjo, let's go. Uh, anyway, I don't want to tell people what to do, and I think voting and democracy and all that is when uncorrupted and all that is a great process to participate in all that. So, I really hate that I'm not gonna vote for anything else other than the representative of my district oh bitch can't wait till that bitch is in prison and that's the only place that bitch is going <laughs> calling the cops you already have I got a speeding ticket and school zone ticket or filming in the school zone anyway I told you they're stupid they're ugly and stupid that's probably why they're so upset all the time but anyway Banjo you gotta wait you gotta leave it um This bitch just wants to make people mad. Can you imagine? I don't get my dopamine for making people mad and annoyed at me. So I think you're a real pathetic loser for that. Anyway, every time she yells at me, guess what? 
We're in a situation as such where you can't do that. You can't even talk to me. You can't even walk in the street. You didn't know that, bitch? My guess is you did. Anyway. I'm not going to vote for... <laughs> I'm Mark Devan. I'm not going to vote for any judge, any... Of course not governor. You know, the last bond program that San Antonio voted on... I think it with the voter turnout was 8%. Millions and millions of dollars. So look at all these streets downtown. On Broadway, there's all this construction by SAMA. You go down SAMA, which is East Jones, and you take a ride on Broadway, and Broadway's like big street in San Antonio, downtown San Antonio. Um, And uh, the whole street's closed off. You can't, it's not even like a one way where, you know, you just can't go through it. It is completely fenced. I might take a picture of that today. Oh, this is the newspaper, bitch. Watch out, she's gonna take your newspaper. Benja, you gotta leave it. <laughs> she's taking their newspapers. <laughs> See in the hospital? <laughs> She's checking the mail too. Banja, leave it! Aren't they so stupid and obvious? Apparently you don't give a fuck. But it's this whole like, oh my gosh, are you going into your home and you don't think anybody's looking at you? I do think I have security on me. Why do they always gotta send the ugliest bitches? Little JD, get a hold of your people, man. That's some bullshit. Anyway, basically what I'm saying is there's that. Oh, look, the force light went on. It's motion sensor. Basically what I'm saying is that it's a really weird time right now and that uh, what you doing? Unfortunately, I think the smart decision to do for all the voting is just to vote for the one politician I actually trust to be able to keep the people's interest in mind no matter all the moving parts and elements and environment political climate we all find ourselves in um, this video is 13 and a half minutes long so far So, read me. Anyway, that's what I decided to do. Again, I don't want to tell anybody what to do and all that. Because I don't really know your situation. I can't be like, oh, hey, you follow me on social media? Let's talk about this politics thing. What is it? What are you going to do? What do you think we should all do as a community? Unfortunately, we're not there yet. Because, partly because of all the elements that you just saw. Um, but, again, it's one of those where evil is evil and they don't just stop. You know what I mean? They say, oh... It's 2020. We're not even going to mention mass mail-in ballots and all that. We're just going to keep on going full steam ahead. So, that's how they handle their stress. Rita May. Look, Rita. 
Oh, and apparently she doesn't have diabetes. She just drinks a lot of water. <laughs> she was at the vet yesterday, and she didn't. She got in. Um, I guess they're really busy or something, but they didn't take her back until an hour after her appointment time, which just happened to be almost when I was home from my jog yesterday. So you know can't be treating us too well is their motto I can't even walk to my front door you know what I mean and they they'll use a school bus to do that um, anyway so to recap I can now drive my mom's car again and I can't use my phone which I, whatever okay Um, and I'm not going to participate in the voting elections other than representative of my district, which is Chip Roy, and he's against the Democratic candidate, I forget who. Um, so I'm just going to go in for the Chip Roy, and again, I don't know how accurate and precise my voting is going to be, but... I guess it's a concern everybody kind of has a little bit I don't know unfortunately um, I think it's kind of a dark time in US history right now but again it's all about how you deal with that you know what I mean good times are good times it's how you deal with the bad times You know, so that's at an individual level and then at a macro level with us as a country. So I think we can get through it. I think um, good triumphs over evil. And you just gotta keep going. I mean, what other choice do we have to let the person, to let those people win? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to call the cops. You know you're threatening good cops when you do that. My guess is that bitch does know that. Anyway, I don't want to get too focused on them because they're probably going to look at my YouTube video, give me a view, and be like, ah, like laugh, you know, just because they don't have the proper psychological physiological response to anything um, but anyway that's who I'm voting for I can drive my mom's car again which feels great so I don't have to be stuck with all that when I couldn't drive my mom's car I didn't really see them as much but now I can drive my mom's car so I guess I'm gonna see them a little bit more often but anyway I hope you'll have a good day hope to talk to y'all soon <laughs> My husband right next to me. My sister Tracy's off today and tomorrow, so I'll see what we'll get into. We usually like to go out and do something together. Um, but anyway, hope you're all doing well.